Hello there. So today we'll talk about active MQ. We'll see some of the interview questions related to active MQ. So if you are preparing for interview and if active MQ is one of the topic that can be asked in your interview, this is the session for you. So let's get started. The first question that you can expect is what is active MQ? Active MQ is an open source message broker that is basically written using Java program language. It is mainly written using the Java message service. The benefit of such an open source messaging broker is that it provides some security feature to enterprise which implies that a particular communication can be promoted from one client to another. So typical uh, active MQ uh, looks like this. We have uh, JMS clients which can talk to each other through the active MQ broker. We have uh, one side producer and the other side is the consumer and message is sent in the queues. What is the use of active MQ instead of other options like database. So if you have database, why to use ActiveMQ? So the answer is ActiveMQ used to reliably communicate between two distributed process. It can store message in a database to communicate between two process. But as soon as the message is received, you would have to delete the message. That means a row inserted and, delete and deleted for each message. When you try to scale that up, communicating thousands of messages per second database tend to fall over. Messages or intermediate would like ActiveMQ on the other hand are built to handle those use cases. They assume that messages in a healthy system will be deleted very quickly and can do optimizations to avoid the overhead. It can also push messages to consumers instead of a consumer having to poll for the new message by doing a SQL query. This further reduces the latency involved in processing new messages being sent to into the system. What is JMS? So ActiveMQ is based on JMS, so you can expect this question. So JMS uh, stands for Java Messaging Service. It is an application programming interface from Sun Microsystem that supports the formal communication uh, known as the messaging between components as a network. Sun JMS provides a common interface to standard messaging protocol and also to a special messaging service and support for Java programs. ActiveMQ is based on JMS. What is KahaDB? KahaDB is a file-based persistent database that is lo local to the message broker that is using it. It has been optimized for fast persistence. It is the default storage mechanism since ActiveMQ 5.4. Kaha uh, DB uses less file descriptor and provides faster recovery than its predecessor, the MQ message store. What is Level DB? Level DB is slightly faster index than Kaha DB and can provide somewhat better performance than num uh, in terms of numbers. In later release of ActiveMQ, the Level DB store also supports replication. Feature of Ac Apache ActiveMQ. So you must remember some of the features of ActiveMQ. Uh, so ActiveMQ supports a variety of cross-language clients and protocols from such as Java, C, C++, C Sharp, Ruby, Perl, Python, and PHP. All these are available. Uh, support many advanced features such as message groups, virtual destination, wildcards, and composite destinations. It can be used as an in-memory JMS provider as well, which is ideal for unit testing JMS. It supports pluggable transport protocols such as in VMTC, P, SSL, NIO, UDP, multicast, JGroups, and JXTA transport. And it also supports very fast precision in JDBC along with the high performance general. Next question you can be, uh, which can be asked from you is how does ActiveMQ is uh, compared to the Fuse Message Broker? So Fuse Message Broker is a certified distribution of uh, Apache ActiveMQ provided by Fuse Source. Fuse Source does all of this development and bug fixes as part of the Act Apache ActiveMQ community. So there are no functional difference between the two. Fuse source may do more frequent release than Apache, so it is possible to get boxes from Fuse message broker release sooner than from an official Apache ActiveMQ release with other uh, checks like automated code quality test, syntax style review tools, and many more. Difference between ActiveMQ and RabbitMQ. ActiveMQ is an open source message broker which is scripted in Java, whereas RabbitMQ is implemented on advanced uh, message queuing protocol AMQP. What are the clusters in Apache? ActiveMQ. ActiveMQ supports the reliable high performance load balancing of messages on a queue across consumers. In enterprise integration, this scenario is known as the competing consumer pattern. The load is distributed in a very dynamic fashion. Additional consumers could be provisioned and attached to the queue in high load periods without modifying any configuration in the queue as the new consumer would behave as just as another co competing consumer. Better availability than system using a load balancer. Load balancer usually, usually rely on a monetization monitorization system to find out which real servers are unavailable. With competing consumers, a failed consumer will not be competing for message and therefore message not be delivered to it even without monetization. How does ActiveMQ compare to AMQP? 
Advanced Message Queuing Protocol AMQP acts as a specification for how the GMS system clients a messaging system clients and broker will interpret. It is also a wire level protocol for client to message broker communication. MQP is not a messaging system such as Active MQ. It can be a message protocol. MQP supports open wire protocols such as open wire fast, which is a fast binary format. Stomp, uh, a simple and easily implemented text based protocol, and MQTT, a, comp a compact binary format for limited device on a unreliable network. What is topic in Active MQ? Virtual topics are the combination of topics and queues. The messages to these topics are listed that will consume messages from the queues. Active MQ helps in copying and duplicating every message to the actual consumer queue from the topic. Which open wire protocol Active MQ supports? It supports Stomp, MQTT. They are the open wire protocol supported by Active MQ. Active MQ. Difference between Active MQ and Mule. So Active MQ is a messaging service that has extensive feature to support both the broker and the client. While on the other hand, Mule is an ESP that has the capabilities to provide executive features to only the broker by exchanging messages among different software components. What can one do to monitor the connection between client and a broker? In order to monitor the connection between broker and the clients, one needs to monitor the state of the connection using the add transport listener method. What is messaging? Messaging is a communication mechanism used for system interaction. In software development, messaging enables distributed communication that is loosely coupled. A messaging client can send messages to and receive messages from any other client. What is AMQP or Advanced Message Queuing Protocol? AMQP is an open standard application layer protocol for message oriented middleware. AMQP 091 is a binary messaging protocol and semantic framework for microservice and enterprise messaging. What is the difference between synchronous message and asynchronous message? So in case of synchronous message, uh, the client which has to uh, has to wait for the server to send a response to the particular message that is generated. On the other hand, asynchronous messaging are the type of messages where the client receives a quick response from the server. This type of mess in case of synchronous messages, synchronous messages are generally generated from the server end. And in case of asynchronous messages, asynchronous messages are generally generated when trigger messages are automatically sent to the server. Example of synchronous messages include telephone calls, radio communication, etc. Example of asynchronous messages includes email, blog, SMS, etc. What is message oriented middleware? Message oriented middleware MOM is a software or hardware infrastructure supporting sending and receiving messages between the distributed system. MOM allows application models to be distributed over a heterogeneous platform and reduces the complexity of development developing applications that span multiple operating systems and network protocols. The middle where it creates a distributed communication layer that insulates the application developer from the details of the various operating system and network interface. What are the advantages of using ActiveMQ over other databases? The biggest advantage of using ActiveMQ over the other, other, other databases is that it is one of the most reliable open source communicate, to communicate and transfer information between different distributed processes. What is the difference between ActiveMQ and Fuse Message Broker? We have seen earlier that Fuse Message Broker is an affirmed, affirmed Dispersion of Apache Active MQ. So Apache Active MQ is a community version, so there are no practical uh, contrast between the two. Fuse source may accomplish more successive discharge than Apache may, so it is conceivable to get bug fixes from a fuse message broker discharge sooner than from an official Active MQ chat discharge. What is the procedure involved in handling an application server using GMS connection? With the assistance of an application server, the server session is made and stores them within a pool. In order to place message in GMS session, an association buyer utilizes the server session. A server session is the one that makes the GMS session. Application composed by application software engineers make the messaging audience. Explain the working of GMS in association with J2E. The customer using the application such as the Java means Java means uh, parts and segments of the web in order to be able to send or receive GMS messages synchronously in addition to that customer using the application can also likewise get messages non-concurrently with the assistance of message driven bins GMS supplier can alternatively exclude the preparation of message the message driven bin are a kind of big business bin that empowers the off-pit utilization of various kinds of message the task of sending and accepting message is completed and is in conveyed which then permits GMS task and database to get inside a solitary exchange what can one do to monitor the connection between the client and the broker in order to monitor the connection with the client and the broker we need to monitor the state of the connection using the add transport layer uh, transport listener method 
mention few features of the active mq if this is asked you can reply uh, it is jms compliance active mq is an implementation of jms so have all the blessing that jms have persistent active mq has inbuilt kaha db and is able to plug to to outside db as properly security active mq provides authentication and authorization cluster many active mq de uh, dealer can make cluster to work together and client api active mq presents pattern api for lots of languages what are the active mq biggest drawbacks it is a complicated mechanism that only allows gms or uh, gms connections so and also there is only one thread per connection that is the biggest drawback what is the process of dealing with an application server using gms connection the server session is created with the help of an application server with which then stores them in a pool and an association buyer uses the server session to place messages in gms sessions the gms session is created by a server session the messaging audience is created by an application produced by the application software engineers so thank you so much for watching today's video and if, and if you think the videos are helpful do like the video and subscribe to the channel